What up, YouTube? This is Daniel Rucker with True Table. Welcome to the table. Um, today, I want to discuss something with you guys that I believed was going to be actually very beneficial. Why? Because it's a conversation I was having with a family member of mine. And, um, you know, we discussed everything, you know, finance, travel, lifestyle, relationships. And we were tackling one of these particular topics that I'm going to bring to you guys today. But before I get started, before I get in here and do what I do, because you know what I do on this channel. You know what I'm known for. I guess cooking. That's what I do. I'm serving up meals. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. For all my new subscribers, welcome to the True Table family. I so appreciate you. You made a good choice. Appreciate it. So, without further ado, what were we discussing? I was having a conversation with my cousin and one of the things that we were discussing in this particular conversation was about relationships. So one of the things I was telling him is that I believe that a lot of men don't understand that is their job. It is their right. It is their gifting. It is their purpose to investigate the mindset of the woman, women, or whoever in that space that they're going to pursue or date. And why is this important, gentlemen? This is important because now more than ever, we are dealing with a completely different set of rules, a completely different premise, a completely different social practice. That is the modern time. The modern woman is different than any other era in history. Why can I say that? Because women now have more entitlement. They have more exposure. They have more things that come across their path as far as experiences and things of that nature. Now, as I am one person that always advocates for exposure and experience, because I believe that the more that you get in front of, the more that you come across, it will help to expand your mindset. That is not always the case for women. I'm going to tell you why. Gentlemen, women, when they are exposed to too much, or when they are exposed to things that are not, how would I put, necessarily good for them, what ends up happening is that they now are forever changed. Some of those changes are good, some of those changes are bad. And why is this something that you need to know as a man? This is something that you need to know as a man is because as a man, when a woman comes across your path that you are interested in, gentlemen, that you are looking to pursue, it's your job to investigate the software. What do I mean by software? I mean by the way that this young lady thinks. Her mindset and how she has governed her life, how she's moved about in the world, her expectations, her character, her integrity or lack thereof, her perspective, her outlook on life. It's your job to investigate. See, a lot of times why I think men don't experience the best women the best experiences that women have to offer is because they don't have high enough standards. That's one thing. And on top of the fact that they don't have high enough standards, they don't really know what to look for. Most men, in my opinion, are so basic and so, how to say, easily pleased that all it requires a woman to do is have a pulse, some breasts, a butt, a decent smile, cute and fun, and he's sold, he's good. I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, that if you're looking to pursue quality women, if you're looking to have the best that life, to have, life has to offer, then you, my friends, my guys, you have to raise the standard. You not only have to raise the standard, you got to know what to look for. One of the privileges I've had um, in my life was that I was, you know, I, I traveled early on in life. I've been to a lot of countries. I've been to a lot of states. And that helped me to identify differences in temperament, differences in culture, so on and so forth. This, not, this particular broadcast is not about me, but I'm sharing it with you so that you can helpfully understand that with my experiences, I paid a lot of attention. And I wasn't a person that went somewhere and didn't indoctrinate myself into the culture. I was the type of person that when I landed in a new country, I went into where the locals spent time. I went to where it was day-to-day -day life. It wasn't just a the um the tourist attractions that what that didn't interest me i wanted to know what was really going on i was always about the authentic authentic stuff i still am to this day but why that's important is because my experience and my exposure gentlemen helped me to start to identify differences and along that journey that helped me to understand what my standard of what the woman i was going to end up with was going to have to possess a lot of times guys are so easily sold on 
the very bare bones package of a woman that the, her mere attention, especially in a modern time, is enough. I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, it's not enough. It's your job as a man to investigate this woman's software because her software in your particular environment can do one of two things. It could either improve your overall program and system that is your life, or it could bring a virus and it can trample on it. It could, it could derail the overall work that you've done and um, built the life that you built because of how she thinks or what she's into or what she believes is um, necessary. There's so many stories and so many different articles and movies, you know, even songs about stories of men who got caught up dealing with the wrong woman and everything he set out to build end up derailing or, you know, being um, chopped up or ended or went up in flames because he didn't investigate the woman's software. And so anyway, the conversation between me and my cousin was going back and forth. And he was, you know, asking me and, you know, pretty much inquiring on why I felt and why I believe that that was the best way to go about it. And why I told him is that a lot of times, like I'm telling you guys, a lot of times is that men, by and large, I believe, don't do enough. They don't go enough places. They don't educate themselves enough on the things that are really going on in the world. Why can I say this? I can say this because it's been proven market marketability wise. A lot of the products that are marketed to women are not marketed to men. Why? Because the simple fact is that most men are very simple. Most men live their life from a practical basis, which I appreciate as well as I do understand. But men, a lot of what you need to know about yourself will come through you ex being exposed to certain things. There was a, a comedy special that I was looking at, and I believe it was Bill Bellamy, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you guys who don't know who Bill Bellamy is, great comics, been doing it for 20 years or so. Um, go check him out, YouTube, Netflix, he's on there. But anyway, the particular topic was about uh, a woman giving you a sponge bath. Think of something along them lines. And obviously he made it comedic. So what he was explaining in that segment, in that particular segment, was the mindset of a man. That men, by and large, are not going to be signing up for no woman giving them a sponge bath. But then in turn, get the sponge bath. And now, because they've been exposed, now because they've had a different experience, now they like the sponge bath. What I'm encouraging and what I'm saying, men, is that on top of you investigating the software that is a woman's mindset, you have to be open-minded to other things and other experiences because these things are going to bring you to the best experiences. It's going to bring you to the best tier of women. It's going to actually put you in a position to be able to identify if she belongs in your world or if she doesn't. And a lot of times guys don't learn this if that girl belongs or if she's somebody that I should waste my time with or if she's somebody that I should allow to exist in my atmosphere until it's too late, until she done either slept with one of your homeboys or, you know, stolen from you or created a situation where it puts you in harm's way. But if you've had enough experience and enough exposure, gentlemen, if you've investigated the software, you know how to ask the questions. You know how to vet them properly. A lot of times in this YouTube space, that is the manosphere men will be telling you like, oh, you need to vet, you know, you need to vet properly. The thing is, they don't tell you how to vet. So one of the things I want to aim to do is show you guys exactly how to do that. One of the ways that you vet, gentlemen, is by experiencing things in your life to know what it is that, first of all, makes you truly and utterly happy, what you need, what you require. In order to do that, though, you have to have the experience in your life to be able to know yourself and not be easily you know um ex accepting of things that are less than what you really truly desire see a lot of guys will take the second uh, second tier treatment or the second tier attention because they feel like well you know i'm just gonna get her at this level and then we're gonna work our way past that or she's gonna do better or give me more no men gotta start holding the holding the fort holding the line if she is not up to par if that chick is fat or, you know, has hair in unsightly places or doesn't have the type of vibe or whatever it may be, you're not obligated to entertain her. You're not obligated to, you know, give her 
time, resources, energy. And I want to see more men have that type of mindset that if it's not her, it's going to be another one. And if it's not the next one, it's going to be another one. Because guess what, gentlemen? There's no lack of women on this planet. And there's no lack of great ones on this planet. you got to stop looking at it one dimensionally and thinking that, yo, this is all. This is it. No. So one of the ways you vet is by, first of all, understanding yourself and truly understanding yourself, being honest with yourself, knowing exactly what it is that you want and being able to ask the right question. If you ask a woman a question and she answers that question, but she don't answer it the way you want her to answer it or you want to have her expound upon it, ask more questions. Ask her to explain herself. And I think sometimes that a lot of guys lose just right there is that somehow, some way they think that this journey of interacting with women is void of conversation. Sorry, gentlemen, hate to burst your bubble. But if you're going to be successful with dealing with women, it's going to require you to actually be able to use this thing called your mouth in a way that communicates effectively. And the communication is not just, you know, words. It's getting across your agenda, getting across your vision and giving across your instruction and then giving, getting across to her your request. You have to be bold enough to be able to use this thing and not be afraid what's gonna come back. Because a lot of times I see guys are afraid that women are going to have a follow-up question and so on and so forth. Be prepared for that, that just comes with their nature. But when you have fortified yourself, when you've elevated yourself in a way that you do understand this, you're ready for that. So I'm not gonna, dive into it further i will do a video on how to vet a woman properly i believe a lot of men need to know this i don't think that is being talked about you know with enough information and enough attention to detail so i got you guys i'm gonna do it for you but this particular broadcast was focused on this you as men need to focus on the software of a woman what is she bringing how is she thinking what is her focal point what does she envision when she decided to study this major compared to this major and if she's going to be somebody that really needs to exist in your atmosphere, that's what we need to figure out. So that's it for today. That's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Marinate on it. Chew on it. I appreciate you guys who hung out, hung out with me thus far. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it. And this is Daniel Rucker with True Table signing out. Until next time, have a good one.